another Melee Riven review. Bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah. All right, we have a Volnus this time. A fresh little slash hammer um, that's really high s status and shit. I like. All right, I'll explain everything. So here we go. The Riven is negative puncture. Melee damage, status, and crit damage. Pretty nice Riven. I really like the negative puncture because puncture is the second highest damage type in this build. And since it's a slash uh, status machine with high fire rate and high range, um, removing puncture is going to really, really make the status kick ass on this weapon. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, five things five fucking elements basically uh that work together to make us a really good status machine uh so you'll, you'll see you'll see how good this does with um with status it's gonna be it's gonna be impressive it's gonna blur your tits off um it's gonna blast your titties off so we have a viral build here um i think corrosive works a little better than viral but we'll test we'll test each build. Also on my Vauban, I'm gonna replace my uh victory with strike to get that melee speed. Melee speed, one of the most important factors in melee weapons. Range, damage, attack speed are so fucking important. You have no idea. They just increase murder by like magnitudes of whatever the fuck. I don't know how to say it. It's it's just really important. So yeah, as you can see, my beefy tanky Vauban has Aegis on him, so he's not really going to die anytime soon versus everything under level 50. Uh, wow, me bragging about my Vauban really fucking benefited this video, hasn't it? Anyways, let's go. Um, melee speed. Alright, well that's one heavy gunner. We're going to do four of these. Four of these. The usual test, you know? Fuck, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Shit. All right, whatever. I'm not going to I'm not going to redo the entire video because of that. I'll try to do I already try to do that shit like 10 times. Look at that. It really kills rather fast. There you go. Um we can do that one more time. I think I can do even better. Uh if we do a blast proc it's gonna do a little better with the status, with the condition overload, I think. I'm not sure. There we go. That's pretty fast, I'd say. That's fucking really good. Can you get viral, please? There we go. As soon as you get viral, shit kicks up, you know? Alright, time for the corrosive build. The one I prefer. Bang bang. Put high voltage. It's not. It's voltaic streak. -y. The dummy. A little fuck. Shocking tit. Let's go. Let's fucking whatever. All right. This is what I prefer. See that? That guy's already dead. Wow! On a slash hammer. Corrosive does better. Why? Oh my god. I thought viral was the thing to go with slash weapons. Well, my boy, there's this thing called... Uh, how do I... No, this is going to be a long sentence. Um, so you see, armor removal is corrosive. Viral is armor bypassing. So, um... With Viral, you basically, let's say, theoretically, you bypass half the armor. So you cut the health in half. That's basically bypassing half the armor. Um, making it twice as fast to kill the enemy. So that's one proc. And Corrosive can uh, remove all armor, given enough time. Uh, and it can actually, like, how do I say it? It can really, really increase the speed uh, that you have, like, the damage. Ah, fuck. All right. Shit. I can do this. Basically, removing armor completely is better in the long run compared to bypassing armor by cutting it, uh, a, a fucking enemy's health in half and waiting for Slashbox to do the business. All right? So, 
corrosive procs, when you remove armor, the slash you have in the actual hits of the weapon does more damage. Uh, whereas um, viral only makes uh, slash procs uh, do better. Am I am I doing that right? Am I saying that right? Uh, basically, the higher level what enemies go, the more corrosive is going to be better than viral. I can pretty much show you that if we test a uh, corrosive build against a leech Eximus 125 uh, versus a viral build. You know, um, I might might as well show you that. Yeah, this is a this is a fucking this is a, some some dropping some knowledge again. Kill, simulate, arctic. Wow, arson, arctic, please leech. Please give me a leech. Leech, there we go. Alright, this is the corrosive build. We're gonna count the hits, basically. We're gonna start from here. I don't wanna knock him off the terrain. Alright, so we're slowly removing armor, you know. Oh, holy shit, that was a hit. Um, 24 hits with uh, corrosive. Uh, now we're gonna test, test viral. Uh, bang, bang, uh, bang, and then, where is it? Vicious Frost. There we go. Viral now. So, a Leech Eximus has a shitload of health. It simulates, um, a really high-level enemy because of, you know, all the armor and health. You know, I don't have to explain it to you that well. But yeah, that was 24 hits. Watch this. We're already at 16 and not much is happening. We're really building it up. 37, 38, 39, 46, four, like 50, over 50 hits, all right? And Corrosive did it in half that. Um, that's 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 the point I was trying to make. I might I might be talking out of my ass, uh, like I'm not an expert, but I think it's because armor removal is better than armor bypass. You know? You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not I'm not an expert, so like don't take my word for it. I'm not this is like uh, oh, it's an arctic. Fuck you. I'm gonna do it one more time, and, you know, that that's gonna confirm my claims. Leech. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for keeping it brief. I'll also show you a little clip, um, of how it does in Kuva Floods or some high-level mission or whatever the fuck. See that? 22 hits, man. Corrosive, man. Fuck viral. <laughs> Uh, viral is better in some cases than corrosive, but there you go. When you hit level 150 and above, corrosive is going to be the way to go. I'm pretty sure that's. I'm pretty sure that's the case, unless you have like a dedicated slash machine weapon, which this is supposed to be. But yeah, um, I think it also has something to do with crits because crits incre increase the potency of slash procs. So, yeah. Also, regardless to that, I still recommend Corrosive over um, Viral in the long run. Holy fuck, what a long-ass video. I'm going to show you also a Blood Rush before showing you the real-life test. A Blood Rush build um, with Drifting Contact in there. So, basically, a hybrid build of crits. Holy shit, I did not mean to click any of that. A hybrid build versus a dedicated status build with Corrosive. So you saw how fast uh, that thing did with Corrosive. This is crit viral. There we go, that's pretty fast. I think I like that. No range though, so that's a little bit inconvenient. I also have to turn off melee auto-targeting. That's really fucking annoying. There we go, that's good. When you get that slash proc, it really makes things fucking easy. See that? Did you see that? That is the power of the Blood Rush build. But yeah, Drifting Contact, because we already have Viral in there, crit damage. You know, these three-in-one ribbons, I mean, this is basically a four-in-one ribbon. Because not only does it increase status chance, it makes status procs more significant because less puncture procs happen. Wow, long-ass video. Melee ribbons are fucking complicated, dude. Holy shit. Goodbye. Um, let's just wait for the real life test, I guess. All right. Well, um, we're 42 minutes into a Kuva survival. Pretty good time to start testing this uh, Volnus. 
And I'm on fire. Ironic, because I'm frost. Watch this. That's a boldness. Watch this. These are fresh enemies unaffected by anything. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It's it's a good weapon. It's pretty good. And I like it. Is that what you wanted to know? Watch this. This is in the... So level 105, three hits, um, that's all you need to know, three hits for a 105, goodbye.